Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Um, as you can see, it's just me today. Off on a day trip up to Mundaring. It's about half an hour out of Perth, but there's so much to see here, guys. There's heaps of stuff to do. And first off, I want to apologize to the people in Mundaring that gave me suggestions on what to film. There's, I've got a list, a length of my arm, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to film everything, but I'll do my best. For now, let's roll that intro. Okay guys, this is Owen Briffer. He's a 16 year old that knows more about this area than um, anyone I've met in all the videos we've made. He runs a travelling museum. Why don't you tell us a bit about it? So the Mundarin Travelling Museum is a purpose-built caravan trailer which goes around to local community events such as the annual events like the Billy Cart Festival in Mount Helena and discusses the history of Mundarin from many photos and artefacts. And then I also um, show old photos and information through the Lost Mundaran and Surroundings Local History Museum Facebook page. Ah, that's really incredible, this kid. Um, I'm going to head into the visitor centre that's right here. It's the old school, meet the girls in there, and um, we'll get back to you later. What an impressive young man he is, really. 16 years old. And just next to where we are speaking to him is the local war memorial. This building here is the old bank. It's now the Salvation Army. Um, the visitor centre that was the old school. We've got the arts centre across the road that we'll go and see later. But for now, I'm going to go in and meet the girls in the visitor centre. Plan my day. Beautiful old building here. It's the old Anglican church built in 1914 using a lot of the local gravel rock by the looks. Gorgeous. Come and visit us in Mundaring. Perfect. Now this gorgeous old pub behind us. This is the Mundaring Hotel. This was built in 1899. Now another good uh, another of the famous things about Mundaring is there's so many bush tracks off here so we used to meet just down the road here have breakfast all on our off-road bikes and the group of us would just turn into one of these tracks and we'd get lost in the forest out here on all these off-road single tracks a lot of it and then when we wanted to come back someone would check on their maps in on their phone and we'd work out our way back but this is where we'd always end up at the end of the day at the Mundaring Hotel having lunch amazing food guys Amazing. We'd love to see you at the Mundaring Hotel. Yeah. There's a lot of trails lead from here, a lot of walk trails. And there's a heritage park and an amazing kids playground here, but there's so many kids around. There's a sculpture park. Here's one of the sculptures over here, but there's so many kids around, guys. I'm not going to film it. But they've also got the garden, garden and farmers market here, which is every Saturday. Let's go in and have a look at that. Come see us at the Mundaring Garden and Farmers Market every Saturday. I got contacted by Prapti Meta. Sorry if I've pronounced that wrong, Prapti. She runs a little vegetar Indian vegetarian cooking school out here and she asked me to come out and have a look. Look where we are, guys, right on the edge of the John Forrest National Park. Just beautiful. Now, I haven't actually met Prapti yet. Now, let's head in, find out what she's got to offer. And this is Prapti. Uh, she retired a few years ago and decided that she wanted to teach people how to cook. So now she does two lessons a month, uh, no more than six people, but I'll let her explain. Yeah, so I've been cooking since I was 10 or 12, learned from my mum. And what I love to do is to teach people the food that you wouldn't normally get in a restaurant because Indian ha India has such a range of food. You can every village, every town, every um, locality has its own cuisine. So that's what I do. It's a small class, just six people, and I teach classes a couple of times a month. Thank you very much. And I'll put a link in the description so you'll be able to find her. But come up here and learn how to cook some Indian food. And just on the outskirts of Mundaring, the John Forrest National Park. And 
This is how close we are to Perth. That's the city just there. That I, you should be able to see part of it in this. We're about, I think it's, Google Maps says 37 minutes from the city centre. Just beautiful guys, amazing part of the country. We love, we love Western, Western Australia. Australia. Woo! Now we're at the John Forest Wildflower Tavern. This kangaroo's bouncing around everywhere. This one wants to be on film. Obviously didn't get him enough just then in the B-roll. Um, there's talk of demolishing this and there's a whole movement to stop it being demolished. But there's also another group who think there can be better things done with the area. So I'm not going to give my opinion, but it doesn't look too open. But it says open on the door, so I'm going to have a look. Kangaroos bouncing through the bar, that's amazing. It's a new one even for me, I think. And just down here is the Margaret Forest House. Gives you all the tourist information. There's tr walks and trails all through this bush. Really is amazing, but being a national park, again, I have to be careful what I film. But yeah, the John Forest Wildflower Tavern. And this beautiful old building. Sorry guys, I can't give you a more wider look at it because if I do, I'm out there in the sun and here's all dark so you have to look at it like this this is the Mahogany Inn just on the outskirts of Mundaring just beautiful so just up from the Mahogany Inn sorry guys I'm standing in the shade but it's pretty hot today this is the Mahogany Creek tennis club the locals are really really proud of this because this hall was the original hall in the area and it was the the community centre, the Merv Lent community centre, and it was marked for demolition, but the locals got to band it together. They did most of the work, they raised all the money, and they managed to save this beautiful old building. And straight across the road from the tennis club is the rail trail. Now this you can walk, it follows the old railway line, you can walk it for quite a ways, but this is one of the many, many, many walks in this area. And this beautiful old building here, this is the Mahogany Creek store, second hand antiques and things. Let's go in and have a quick look. Good day, we'd love to see you down at Mahogany Creek store, second hand goods, and uh, take a look around. Just on my way out to the wheel, and I thought I'd stop here. So, when we're doing the off road bike runs, we just see what a track like this off the side of the road. This is just a bitumen road right here. We'd head up there, spend the morning in the bush, use Google Maps or whichever to find our way back out of the bush and have lunch in the pub. Now, they're shut at the moment, of course, but this is the Kookaburra Outdoor Cinema. You can come up here, it's walk-in, there's all seats in there. Um, I'll leave a link down below, you'll be able to find out when the movies are on. But again, it's only half an hour out of Perth. Well worth the drive, and look where we are guys. Just, what a place to go to the drive-ins, or walk-ins, sorry. And this is the Perth Hills Discovery Centre. Um, it's only open for schools and community groups and things, but if you do come up here as a group, um, you can, I'll put a link in. Now this is the Bibbulmun track. And the Bibbulmun track just starts, we've, I've explained that to you a few times, the, the walk path from Perth to Albany. It starts in Kalamunda, which is only a couple of suburbs down between here and Perth. And it finishes in Albany, so yeah, amazing. I think there must be at least three or four videos we've done down south that um, I've shown you the Bibbulmun track, different parts of it. Just amazing. My cousin did it, he's a firefighter, professional firefighter, and he did it as a fundraising thing for, I think, families of firefighters that have lost their lives. Good on you, Stuart. And um, look at this, guys. That's the drive-in, the walk-ins over there, the Kookaburra Outdoor Cinema. It's just 
gorgeous. Oh, it must be 40 degrees, guys. It's hot. Now, just here, you've got a book online. I'll leave the link down below as usual. But you can, you can tent camp here. Only tents, no caravans or anything. But yeah, $15 a night per person. And th this, this is the volunteer stay here and um, check your tickets and everything. Make sure you're valid. You used to be able to um, book in there, but these days, technology, you've got to book online. And this is the Mundaring Weir Hotel. Gorgeous old building, built in 1898. And David Helfcott, the famous pianist from the movie Shine, he played here for 32 years. So this is really where he cut his bones. But apparently they've got the biggest beer garden in Perth. Well, let's go and have a look. We've got Steve here just showing me around. This is where they do the barbecues and smoke all the meat. They've got the bar here. And this is where they have the concerts down here. Really, what a great setup! And look where we are, guys. Just amazing. And this is the Mundaring Weir, guys. Just incredible. The water from here. People having a shower in Kalgoorlie, having a drink of water in Kalgoorlie right now. It came from here. Just amazing. And here is the memorial to see why O'Connor an incredible brain over a hundred years ago who would have thought you could pump water all the way from Perth basically to Kalgoorlie just incredible and I tell in the following the Kalgoorlie pipeline video I explain all about CY O'Connor about his suicide and things but he was just a brilliant man absolutely brilliant he built Fremantle Wharf and things but that's all in the Kalgoorlie video I won't repeat myself incredible come visit us in Mondarin we love it here yeah. what a fun weekend Mundaring. I've only showed you a tiny bit of what there is to see but I've run out of time today and it's so hot and not just hot it's humid look at this storm up here draining anyway leave a comment down below guys I always try and respond to your comments if you haven't subscribed yet hit the mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below give me a big thumbs up share this video everywhere you can and uh, we'll see you in the next one